the man with the laugh. Ha! <laughs> and a legacy beloved by Just Elon, President Emeritus Dr. James Earl Danley had a long history with the school. Born in 1924 in Alamance County, Danley attended Elon College and devoted his life to the school. But the thing that I like and feel the best about is that I think we are a community. I think that basically we like each other, our teachers like each other, our alumni like each other, and you can't beat it. Following his graduation from Elon in 1946 with a degree in chemistry, Danley followed his childhood passion and took a job with Elon as a professor in the sciences. I was given three sections of freshman chemistry in the fall of 46, 110 students, most of them older than I. I was 22 years old. It was in his first year as a teacher that he met the woman he would spend the next 63 years with, Verona Daniels. They married just two years later and had three kids together. Danley often referred to their relationship as permanent roommates. The second date was the Guilford football game at Guilford. And from then on, it was full time. And we've been living together with the blessings of matrimony <laughs> for 52 years. Verona died in 2011. After teaching at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, Danley became Dean of Elon in 1953. The Dean's office was burdensome for me. It was just too much work. I was trying to keep up with, with all the student problems um, I had all the fa work to do with the faculty. Just four years later, he became the sixth president of Elon College. He was 32 years old. It was not in my plans. It was not what I wanted to do. But they had succeeded in convincing me of something that I could do. And they even thought something I should do. He spent the next 16 years working to improve the college's reputation. The man who quickly became known as Dr. D raised academic standards for admission, admitted the first black student, and helped develop the athletic department. As a high school senior, I heard snooty people in Burlington say, if you can't go to college, go to Elon. And when I became president, I said, be darned if I don't make them eat those words. And nobody says it now. While president, Dr. Danley taught public speaking because he wanted to continue teaching. I consider it a really a privilege and a blessing to be able to go see these young folk and to meet them and to work with them and hopefully help them to learn. Dr. D resigned the presidency in 1973 and went back to teaching chemistry. I've been president 16 years. And when you do that for 16 years, you can feel uh, like it's time to retire. Fred Young took Danley's old position. And uh, they were asking me, what was I most proud of at Elon? Earl, I may be most proud of you. <laughs> In 1992, Dr. Danley was named President Emeritus, the second in Elon's history, and truly started to embody Elon. Dr. Danley is an institution within yes. itself, yes. and everybody knows it. But many students may remember Danley for how much he loved Elon basketball something team alumnus Jack Eisenbarger will never forget. I oh, would always see Dr. Danley at the basketball game. We got to know him through that. And so and he's reached out and um, been so kind and, and good to us. You could always see Dr. D waving his white towel to the crowd at basketball games, a tradition that began in 2005. And my physical therapist, who came by earlier this afternoon, came in one afternoon and said to me, would you like to go to the ball game tonight? I said, what did you say? <laughs> he said, would you like to go to the ball game tonight? I said, I would love it. Dr. Danley's contributions to sports, academics, and student life are all part of his legacy and his decades of commitment to the maroon and gold.